Got my keys, got my keys. Little Tesla logo right there. Let's go check it out. Hey everybody, Todd Cooper Rider here with Esoteric. Really exciting day uh, for me. Picking up my new car. You can probably guess what it is when uh, you see the Tesla sign on the building. Uh, we've got a Model S plaid, red with white interior. Uh, I've had it ordered for a little while now. Really excited uh, to pick it up. We work a lot with the Tesla community here in the Central Ohio area. Made a lot of sense for me to get one. Let's go check it out. Here we are. Look at that. Door handles pop open for me like it knew that I was coming. Esoteric colors. Red. White interior. This thing is awesome. Actually has a uh, back seat and four doors. I can actually haul people around. Now comes the fun part, figure out how all the gadgets and stuff work on it. I'm probably gonna be spending hours sitting in my garage. Big change, I've had a lot of high horsepower uh, cars over the last however many years, usually V8 motors. No motor in this one except for uh, electric. It's gonna be quite different. No, it's not gonna be making any sound, but it goes really fast. That's the important part of it. Look at that, I even get a fancy piece of paper saying this car is for me. It's me, I'm Todd. Can we get a startup uh, audio clip? <laughs> Suspension, sport right off of the bat. Ride height, it's on very high, Pfft. low. You can feel it dropping. Hey, first things first, add a new device. I think you can do a little bit of everything in here. Uh, this iPhone. is all just so you can answer YouTube comments while you're driving, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I'm good. I should be able to make a call to my wife. Guess what, honey? I bought a Tesla. The next important thing, music. Yeah, that's good. We got a little Fleetwood Mac playing there. Sub always goes up. A little bit of bass. I think it's time to go for a drive. I still got to figure out how to put this thing in drive. We go forward. Look at that. I'm in drive. I think you got to put the... Supposed to put seatbelt on too. We got a car this fast. You you can't feel anything that you're in drive. You know you let your foot off the brake, and nothing happens. Nothing happens till you put your foot on. I can't say the gas, the throttle. So let's put our foot on the throttle. Hey, we're going forward. Look at that. Well, you know all those people complaining about uh, uh, the yoke, steering wheel. It, it's no big deal at all. It's a non-issue. Well, this is weird. You let off the throttle and it breaks. All right, we are going to pull away and figure out these turn signals. A little bit different than what you're used to. There's no stalks on this car. And we're off. Inaugural drive in the new Model S Plaid. <laughs> Holy shit, this thing is so fast barely even put my foot down on the throttle and it just rips your head back. All right, a lot of people probably wondering how or why I ended up with a Model S. If you look at the cars that I've had before, loud, obnoxious, V8 motors, lots of horsepower, and then go with something that's electric. You know, people talk about that, these cars, they, they don't have a soul because they don't have uh, internal combustion engine in them. To me, it's more about the driving experience. It doesn't matter, um, you know, what is propelling it. Yeah, you're not making any cool noises. You know, some of those cars I've had just sound amazing. <laughs> And this is completely quiet, but really the quiet adds uh, something completely different uh, to, to the drive. It's, it's smooth, it's peaceful, um, but you step on the throttle on this and it simply goes like a bat out of hell. The acceleration is completely indescribable. Instant torque all the time. And when you're accelerating, whether you're accelerating from 10 or 20 miles an hour, or whether you're accelerating from 50, 60 miles an hour, your rate of acceleration is all the same. You know, I've been driving uh, sports cars um, as daily drivers for, for quite some time. You know, it kind of sounds like a cool thing. And at times it is really a cool thing. But you know what? You're tired sometimes in the morning. You jump in a sports car. It's loud. You feel every bump. You just want some, some luxury. And, and that's what this car provides. You have all the luxury, but you have the sport side of it with maniacal 
acceleration. So I'm not saying that, that I'm done with sports cars by any means. I can see having something like this and then getting a, you know, Porsche or something that I can blitz around on, on, on the weekend. Um, oh, <laughs> oh my God, this thing is so insane. It uh, gobbles up distance so quick. It's not even funny. Went to pick up a car for Triple F collection. Jordan was like, I want you to go drive this hard. It's the way I drive it. I want you to drive it hard. You got to experience it. And Wes and I were giggling like nine-year-olds the whole way in it. it, it it's, it's just insane. You know, what Tesla has done to change the automotive industry, um, and, and that's exactly what they did. They broke the mold. They disrupted uh, uh, an industry that always done things the same way. And now you have so many other players out there getting in the electric world. They've forced the hands of, of other manufacturers that understand they have to get into the electric world. You know, this is where the future is. You, know, you really have to embrace it. I know there'll be people that, you know, think it's some kind of political statement or whatever to, to drive an electric vehicle. And that's not the case, at least with uh, with me. I think I'm going to enjoy not having to stop and fill up gas, particularly when it's February and it's three degrees outside. I'm going to be driving by waving nice and toasty warm in my electric vehicle, just plug it in when, uh, when I get home at night. Charging this is going to be no big deal. I only drive about 30 miles a day. And uh, I think I can get between 200, 230 miles of charge at night sitting in my garage. We do a lot of work with the Tesla community. We sponsor the Tesla club here uh, in Central Ohio. So it made sense uh, for me to get uh, a Tesla. You know, it's kind of like su supporting the local community, being part of, you know, their, their crowd. Uh, our, our biggest markets are Corvette, Porsche, Mercedes, and Tesla had a Porsche Turbo S, several Corvettes, C7s, Z06, and ZR1, three Mercedes. I still have uh, one of them, but I haven't had a Tesla yet. So this made a lot of sense uh, to to get one. Um, you know, from a business perspective, to to really um, connect with uh, with our large customer base that that we have. You know, customers come in. You can speak their language. You know exactly about uh, the cars. That that makes a, a huge uh, difference. But I'm really excited. I mean, th this is this is so cool. It's a, a completely new chapter. This this is so much more to me than a new car. Uh, yeah, I like shiny new things, and and I end up getting bored after uh, about a year. But this, holy hell, just from sixty to a hundred, just like that. And that wasn't even having my foot all the way down. <laughs> it literally makes you, makes you dizzy. Okay, well, hopefully you enjoyed uh, the pickup of the new Tesla Model S Plaid. A couple of thoughts about it. Um, we are already here back at the shop and we're already into uh, creating new content, Tesla-specific content. We just did uh, one a minute ago on screen protectors and how to maintain all, all of this. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel, hit that notification icon, so you'll be aware every time we upload something new, we're gonna be doing a lot of videos about Teslas in particular to help you care for it and help you get the most out of uh, your car enjoyment and out of your investment. We appreciate you hanging out with us here on the Esoteric channel. We look forward to seeing you in our next videos. We need to check the oil before we leave. Damn. No motor. Maybe they hide it in the back. <laughs>